Yo, what is up guys? Deray Designs here with a tutorial video, and today I will be showing you how to make a YouTube overlay or a Twitch overlay. Um, they're not very difficult, so this will be a short tutorial, but uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're in pixels, have the width be 1920 and the height be 1080, um, and then also have the background contents be transparent. That's all, all you really need to have for the settings and uh, yeah. Okay, so what I usually like to start with is more of a rectangular shape. Um, I'll usually just kind of make a decent sized one, not too large. Um, yeah, that looks good. Um, we'll try a white. in the middle and let's we can put a little bit of a skew on this so that um, it looks a little bit so that it doesn't look so rectangular uh, just have it look like that what I always like to do is just start off with a little bevel and emboss um, just to make it kind of pop out from the background and then what I like to do is make a duplicate layer and just kind of make this smaller. Maybe flip that all the way around and put this layer under that. So as you can see, this will be the centerpiece right here. And these will be kind of like the social medias and all that kind of stuff on the side. So. I'll just make a duplicate layer right here. And what I think I'll actually do is make this a little bit longer just to make sure that's good there. So now I'm going to get that back on the other side. So next what you want to do is um, just simply put your text in the middle. I like I like all of these texts right here if you're looking for good text. Alright, so we'll start off right here and we'll just put in and then um, what you can do is you can put like if they don't just have one name, like they kind of have like three parts, then you can put something there and then like something there but I'll just keep it as one name um, if they only have one name you can also put like a design on the left here on the right just like a simple um, rectangle maybe um, I'm not gonna do that right now just because um, but basically we're gonna go on to the sides where you put the social medias and all of that okay so once you get all the social medias that you want in you just want to make sure that all of them are the same color as uh, just the theme you're going with. So right here we're going with the white and red theme. So we're going to want to make this these uh, logos red. Alright, so once you've made all of your logos the same color, you can go ahead and put them on your overlay and just kind of line them up where you want them. Um, this is all personal preference right here. Now you're just going to want to put the names. So each of these social medias um, they're usually longer than this so I'll just make it longer like, like so and we'll move this over a little bit just do this and do the same thing just on the other side. Like so. 
and then just move your logo over here. Now, if it's on this side, you may want to um, consider flipping your logo so that it's facing like that way, uh, just because this part of it is out to the left, so this kind of just makes a little bit more sense. Um, you don't have to, but it just makes a little more sense, uh, at least to me. And so we're gonna put that there. Obviously this one is extremely simple to make. There's not a lot of color variation or um, gradient overlays or anything. Uh, but this is just like the basics. You can also make it much more custom. This is obviously just kind of more of a template kind of thing. One thing I like to do is also kind of like maybe connect these right here. Just get grab your pen tool and um, fill that path with, I'd say probably this same red, it's already there. Um, not have it like that, but like that. And then you wanna just do that on the other side too. Um, just flip that. And put that under that layer. And to me, I think that looks a lot cooler than just the basic without it. Oh, now we'll see how it looks over, say, a piece of uh, gameplay or whatever you are doing. Also, I think you could, it's it's all personal preference, but um, you could also add these red parts up to the top. I, I think I'll do that right now, in fact. All right, so now it looks done. Uh, you can also just move all of this up or down, however you want it. Um, you can also make it smaller or do whatever. But this is just a simple basic overlay for any Twitch or YouTube channel that might need one. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, also leave a comment saying, yeah, I want more tutorials. Because uh, I will be coming out with more tutorials if you guys want more. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.